guys, it is Mr. Bridget here, aka Allen, and I'm back doing something else the GLI. As last video with the intake that I installed, I told you that there was an issue with the turbo inlet that I got. Um, I ended up calling Integra Engineering, and they were actually really nice about things. Um, they ended up telling me, he said, when did I order it? I said, first thing I ever ordered for this car, so it was like middle of summer. And I guess they had a bad batch of like 200, 250 or something go out that were oval shaped so that would be why we spent two hours trying to get it on and not going but they were nice enough to send me another one i even get to keep the other one so this is going to be just like the last intake cold air intake video where i didn't really do a full tutorial on it but just a little bit why was my oh dak come here dak but how do you do this is dak come here yeah. okay but yeah i'm not gonna make this a full tutorial like i said with the cold air get away from that and just show you bits and pieces. This shouldn't take too long. It should be like a half hour, maybe a minute, a minute, an hour <laughs> video. Well, installation process. So um, there will be a link down below of the, in the install guide. So I'm gonna get started here and we're, yeah. All right guys, um, we got to this point now, I'm doing very badly, as most of you know, English is hard for me, and I got the boys here. Little boys. We got, you don't have a YouTube, but we got Mr. Enthusiast, that's got over more, almost a thousand subs. Bitch. Uh, anyways, um, when you get to this point, to, when you start doing this, you want to take off all your grounds for your coils right here, uh, and then you basically, so you can just unplug them all, then you got to take this coil out. And then, um, you know, I'm just going to take your hose off here for the intake. Um, you're supposed to take this piece off right here, the PVC, to allow you to turn that. But we just took it off at the actual tube. We're going to see if that's going to give us enough room. And then you have a T25 screw way back there. You can't see it with the mounting screw. Um, but you don't have to take the bolt out. Just unthread it all the way and the bolt will just sit there. Um, if you have, if you have bought the cold air intake like I did, it's going to have two of these silicone hoses. One for the stock outlet and the other one for uh, the IE outlet. The reason why I'm smiling is because we now have to run to my house because it is at my house. Be back. Okay, so we're back now. Um, you have this intake. It's going to come with two different silicone elbow hoses things. Obviously, this one is for the... OEM one and this one is for the IE intake one. Um, go ahead and show them the, like the outlet of that. I should have showed it before I separated them, but we already have it on and bolted in. And then this is your OEM one, like I said. You're just going to stick it in there and turn it. It's actually pretty easy. You probably shouldn't do this, but I'm just curious because there's, you know, the. I don't know. Should we do this? This might be a bad idea. I just kind of want to know what it sounds like with, <coughs> go for it. Oh! All right, now shut it off. <laughs> okay, we wanted to see what it sounded like without that. It sounds pretty cool. No check engine light, hopefully? Probably, I got a scanner. Oh. So I'll clear it. Um, but yeah, like I said, you got that. Basically, just gonna stick everything back one together. Um, I feel like we missed something. Do we miss something? I told, oh, and you, you don't have to undo this. The installation guide will say you can. Um, you can just undo it from here, and this just you know pulls off. It's simple. Um, then you, like I said, put all these back on. Make sure you get your grounds nice and tight. Flip that in, turn it, and then you're you use the, the original screw back there or bolt to hold it in so i don't know if this is going to make a sound difference i would assume so you're going to hear a little more because it's more open it's not as restricted as that i don't know um so i don't know if i'll do a video of me driving to see if there's a difference today kind of like the intake it was after but i guess we can put it on and see if it's sounding different while it's running so we're going to get this piece back on and yes all right guys uh got it on there Camera, go ahead and give it a little rim. Um, I didn't really, 
it's kind of hard to tell if there's a sound different with the actual intake already on it so i'm not 100 percent sure if it's sounding any different um we might go drive i don't know Wait, are we gonna go for a drive or what are we doing yeah, all right we'll go for a drive and i'll let you guys listen with that i don't if it had the oem intake on it i'm sure you'd hear it hear a difference but never mind you can't even put that on with the oem oem in, intake which is hard but it's pretty it's pretty it's a really easy job uh just take the cover off obviously disconnect your intake piping take the grounds off uh take this stud out on cool one pull it out you know pull all these out so you can move the whole harness disconnect that the mounting screw in the back and then you're just going to turn it clockwise kind of clock one of the ways it'll pull out again there's gonna be a link in the description of how to take it off or how to install it from uh, integrity engineering uh we're gonna go run down the road actually so let's just go see if it sounds any different in the cab like i said i don't know if it will or not but there should be some gains maybe so let's go let's go for a drive all right we're in the car we're loaded up with about four people in there and these guys have done something in my car and i have no idea what it is so i gotta figure out what they did to my car um, i put an ice sticker on my car you know i said i wouldn't um the sound is a the spooling is a little louder the blow off is about the same what did you just say to me the camera's driving for me here uh this is on a closed course by the way professional camera don't have his fucking freaking seat belt on I'm gonna try to lay back on the custom on my videos here. Uh, so you're gonna hear some dinging. But we're gonna try if everybody just stays quiet. I mean, you could hear it last time, but we're gonna try. Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not going in the video. <laughs> window down here slower on down slower on down here slower on down slower on down about 20 volt 20 volt there we go It's dark. Oh, fucking God, I'm cussing. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna leave it all in the videos. It's funny. Yeah. Um, what? It's it's <laughs> um, so yeah, you definitely can hear a little bit of a difference. Um, if you're running just a stock intake, actually, like I said, you can, I don't think this inlet works with a stock intake. Um, I can't feel it really a difference in power wise. Of course, I'm not going to because you know it's just a little air. Um, if you're doing the cold air intake, you might, I mean, it, it's, it's stupid to leave that factory because then you're, you're basically making the inlet bigger, uh, the intake bigger, and then you're going to close it off with a short inlet. So you might as well do it. Uh, they make a bunch of different brands of them. I just went IE because, uh, IE cold. Why are you guys laughing? I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. This ain't working. Um, so I'm just going to cut this here because this video is getting kind of just wild out. Um, so... Like I said, link in the description for the instruction guide on how to install it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. Um, my H&R lowering spring has actually got shipped out today. should be here tomorrow. So look, probably middle of next week. So I have to do it at work, so I have to have a spring compressor. Um, so look forward to that. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, like, comment, and until then, we'll see you all in the next one. Later.